another game with another video and today we're going to look at the build order of the hardest AI of uh, the Age of Empires 2 HD edition Rise of the Rajas or if it's gone worse or probably still the same so we'll look at the build order of the hardest AI is this the hardest AI yes it is the hardest AI yes so let's look at the build order I'll start the game and this is uh, Vietnamese that's a new sieve in uh, Rise of the Rajas, and uh, let's look at his build order. So I'm going to do a fog of four and see what he does. Uh, is it standard? Is it going for two houses? No, it's going for a mill, so that is obviously a bit weird, but it's, uh, other two villages are doing the house, and that's the reason why he's going to take out uh, villages from his town center, and uh, he's going to send them straight to the forage. You can see he's already scouted his uh, sheep, so he knows the sheep is there, but still, but still he's sending villages to forage. So there you go. I think four villages to forage right now and he's built only one house so that's not standard already uh, two houses <laughs> was a standard so he's not done that just one house and he's done a four a forage a mill rather and uh, that mill is going to delay the lumber camp so that is not good finally he gets the sheep he scouts them and he's going to send them to the town center so i'm expecting the next villager to go to sheep let's see yes it's going to go to sheep no where's the gather point I don't see a gather point, so he's going to send them right away to forage. We have already five on forage, so that's going to be the sixth villager on forage. There's no micro on the villages, obviously. You can see the villagers going to random forage bushes, and uh, they're doing this stuff. And finally, uh, he's going to take out the next villager, which is going to be the seventh villager, and he's going to do the second house, because obviously he's going to uh, do loom, so that house is not even required right now. He's going to do his loom, and uh, could, that villager could have gone to sheep, actually. But that's okay. He had to do his second house, obviously. So that is what he's doing. So has he found his boar right now? No, he hasn't found his boar. But he's going to find his boar here. There you go. That's the boar. And it's very strange that uh, he's going to sheep right now. Two minutes, 30 seconds in the game time. And the AI is going to sheep. So obviously, you can be better than the AI, at least at this moment of time. So you would have collected much more food. And uh, the AI is uh, pretty low on wood, you can see that. So obviously there's no plan of rushing. And uh, there's no wood to uh, get that lumber camp even. So it's going to take out all, all the next few villagers and put them on wood is what I believe. Yes, this one is also going to go on wood. The next one is surely going to go on wood. It's right now on 5 plus 2, 7 on food, which is pretty okay. Uh, not standard. 5 on sheep or probably 4 on sheep is standard, but... He's going uh, to put many on forage and the two on sheep. It's strange that he didn't get these villagers from forage back to the sheep, uh, which is uh, what I expected, but he didn't do that. And uh, is is he doing a bit of micro over there? I think so, yes. He's doing a bit of micro, which is very nice, very neat. I really hope he was doing it, because I think those villagers were on this forage bush. And... Uh, he moved to that forage, is it? Uh, no, it was not on this forage bush. So probably it was on this, and there was no more space for this, and so they went to this. So that was not really a micro. And finally, finally, that is the lumber camp. So that is the third house. That is the third house. He doesn't even have wood right now in four and a half minutes of game time. He's luring in the first boar with loom, and he's going to take that boar down. Oh, he's really struggling right now. He has to garrison that. Yes, he at least does that. And he's going to try to kill it with another, another village. He's going to get the villages from Forage and try to get that boar, which is very, very crappy from the AI. And did he lose a villager? No, I think he's garrisoned two villages inside the town center. That is the crappiest boar lure ever. So at least the AI does a boar lure now. A few years back, obviously the old AI didn't even do a boar lure. The, they used to, they didn't have the code to do a boar lure, obviously. But it's doing it now, so that is good. You can see there is three deer over there, so that is 420 food right over there. He's going to do that or not? I really don't know. That's a 15 villager out, and it's going to go on farm. Is that a weak villager? No, he doesn't have that. Uh, AI uh, to put the weak villager on farm, so it's not doing that. Uh, we already has one, two, three weak villagers. I don't know why the third weak villager, or probably uh, uh, that was the boar uh, injuring three villagers in the process. So finally, that's the that's the lumber camp, but uh, it's not 
putting his villagers into the palm forest over here, just clearing these uh, wood lines over here. And that's the second farm put down already uh, with 16 pop. I do see an idle villager over there, but no, he's, he's going to cut the wood over there. I really don't know why he's clearing all the food around his town center. I think that is pretty standard because you know the AI is going to build a lot of buildings around these, uh, around this area, around this town center. That's the standard thing it does, and that's a house. I really wonder whether AI ever gets housed. No, they don't, right? So that is one crazy thing that never gets housed. So seven minutes in the game time and 17 pop, and uh, on the other, on the other side we have King the Great One. That is myself, and uh, what I would do in this game, I would just uh, I will just turtle in this game. I'll wall off my entire region, and I will actually try to do a doubt and take out war wagons. I was playing with Koreans, I believe, and I would do war wagons and uh, try to harass the AI. But that was not the point. The point was the build order of the AI, and we can see he's not going to go for this deer, or he's not going to go for another lumber camp. I'd be surprised if he does so. He's uh, collecting wood with one, two, three, four. Only four on wood. So that is a bit surprising, actually, because he doesn't have wood to put military buildings right now. It's going to send all those villages who's collected uh, food from the boar. Where is the second boar? Oh, I think it's over here. So he hasn't scouted that boar. So that is not good. He hasn't even uh, scouted the other sheep. No, he hasn't. He actually hasn't. Where is the other sheep? Yeah, it's over here. So, yeah, he hasn't uh, even scouted that. So that is not great from the hardest AI. And uh, I believe nothing has changed. Look at that. Look at the number of villages in Forage. He's going to drain Forage in Dark Age. That is incredible. Uh, let's look at his scouting over there. And he's doing a neat circle around his base. Uh, that is nice, but uh, he's really struggling to get those sheep. And uh, he's going to finish his edge board before the, uh, before the feudal age. And he's on 22 plus 2, 24 pop. And he's finally getting the deer, which is good. And sending only one villager to get the deer. So he's going to lose some food over there while the villager comes back to deposit food in the mill. So there you see those little flaws, those little things, obviously. The AI is not programmed to do all that. But so far, so good. You can see there is four on wood. He's going to send the fifth one wood right now. Very low on wood, I have to tell you. 24 minutes into game time. I'm sorry, nine and a half minutes of the game time and the 24 pop, and uh, he's only bothered about food right now. So 26, and that is the 26 20 pop, and uh, 25 villagers out already for the AI. Let's look at what King the Great One is doing. King the Great One is actually housed right now, also on 25 pop, and also in Dark Age. So probably I was also having a bad game. But initially, obviously, you can be better than the AI because I think the AI is a crappy Dark Age. I have to tell you that. Uh, too many villagers in Dark Age, and finally, finally, the AI has done his feudal age research with 25 villagers. And I'm, I have to tell you that is not that is not a fast castle strategy. He's sending everybody to this lumber camp. Look at that. That is so so crowded over here. So this is not good. He can put probably one more lumber camp over here. Will he do that? He's right now on five plus. Let's look at the number of lumberjacks. Fifteen lumberjacks he has got. So all of that, all of that on one lumber camp. Is he going to put? Yeah, he's going to put the first mining camp and with twenty-five villagers in midway into feudal age. He's collecting uh, food from those deer. That is good. He's finally put down one lumber camp, but he should distribute his villagers. He's not doing that. He's already got fourteen over here, which is a bit crazy. Has he sent anybody else anywhere? No, he hasn't. Just one on wood. So so far, very very crappy from the AI, but very surprising how he suddenly becomes very good. Uh, and he becomes a force to reconvert. And that's the barrack finally coming down in 12 minutes of game time. And uh, obviously, as soon as he hits feudal age, he'll be ready to put down an archery range. Yeah, because he's got a lot on wood right now. So obviously, he can do archery range. And that's the first gold miner. He's finally found the second boar. Will he send that boar into his town center with his scout? No, obviously, he won't. Will he send a villager to get that boar? We'll soon find out. And the good thing is he's, he's collecting food from all the deer. The old AI didn't even do that. So that is something really good. Look at the buildings over here, Vietnamese. That is really nice. He's doing a real battle right away. So no research on the lumber camp over there. So that is a bit surprising. No research on the mill. So that is bad. No double bid axe. It's just a will battle to start with, which is uh, pretty strange. He's actually getting the second boar 
with one hunter, which is uh, which is decent. But so where are the other hunters over here? <laughs> Let's see what he does. Does he take that bow to the mill and take food with these villagers? That will be surprising if he does that. No, he actually doesn't do that. Oh, actually, he's trying that. He's actually trying that around the village. He's going to micro with that villager. Is it? That is incredible. He's going to bring that villager to the town center while he's attack with that villager. So that is pretty decent. Um, that is neat from the AI. He still reaches his that takes time and is finally going to get that boar and uh, <laughs> going to lose that or garrison that villager. Yes, he garrisons that villager. He's at, he has that intelligence. And uh, please eat that boar. Ah, that boar hunting has to be improved. I have to tell you that. And the AI has to improve on the boar hunting. It is very crappy right now. You see the archery ranges are up right now. That is one, two archery range. And he's taking out archers. He has got a two on gold. So that is pretty decent. Uh, not still good enough to have two archery ranges. Uh, he needs at least two more on gold. Yes, he's sending those. Yeah, that's the third gold miner. And finally, he's going to send the fourth one also on to gold. And you can take out archers. And uh, I'll be surprised if he takes out archers. He generally does archers and skirms, a mix of both. That's what he does. Look at his scouting. He has actually scouted my base, and he knows that I'm collecting stone. Uh, the reason for that is I'm going to wall off my base. You can see that I've already started some crazy walling over there. And that is what I'm doing right now. I'm going to hit fog of war again so that we can look at what the AI is doing on 31 pop right now. And uh, so that is basically the AI's build order. And we'll look at this build order till he goes to the castle age. Mind you, I don't attack him. I don't attack him in feudal late. So we won't even know what he does. But I think he would still do pretty standard stuff. He'll have buildings around his town center, and he'll have uh, a mix of archers and skirms. He even takes out a few spears, and even does a stable and take out cavalry. So he does a mix of everything. And uh, right now, I think it's become a bit standard for him, and he's put a decent number of vill uh, villages on wood. Uh, is, this part is still crappy. There are too many on wood over here for this lumber camp, and that lumber camp is not even close to this wood line, so that is not very good. Even this lumber camp is pretty far away from the wood line, so he hasn't had uh, that level of intelligence. There you go. That's the third archery range. He doesn't have so many gold miners for a third archery range, but that is okay, I guess. And he hasn't put on a blacksmith, mind you, so this is a very good time for you to attack his base and try to disturb his economy. And uh, obviously, I don't do that. I was doing a turtling strategy over there. I'm walling my entire base with a stone wall and a wood wall. That's what I was doing. And is that a house? Yes, he's doing a small mini wall around his base. It is pretty standard. It's producing villages at will. And uh, he's put uh, six on gold right now. And he's taking out skirms and archers. And uh, from all military buildings, he's producing units right now, which is uh, it's pretty great. And that is what he does most, most of the time. He's got 14 uh, army on the map right now. So I think between 12 and 16 minutes is a very good time to attack your... Uh, AI and harass his economy. That is a very good way to win the game against hardest. Otherwise, it becomes a bit difficult, obviously. And it's still winnable. Obviously, you have to keep on hitting his economy. You can do a fast castle with uh, and go with knights and then hassle his economy. Uh, but it becomes very difficult as the game progresses. And this game progressed and it went to one and a half hours actually. And uh, I resigned because. I was really irritated with this AI, and uh, he doesn't stop. He just doesn't stop. At one point of time, we both had 190 pop, and we both had 100 units on the map, 100 army on the map, and it was very annoying. I was trying to do war wagons. I did some 70 war wagons, and, uh, and I think it's getting very annoying. So 19 minutes in the game time, he's got 57 on the map, so the hardest AI has to, is very, very good, I have to tell you that. And he's so compact, and the way he does his stuff is really good. He's finally sending his archers forward, but obviously I'm walled, so that is so pointless. You just go and hit it one place. He could have actually gone and tried to come inside through this area. This was not even a wall at the time. And uh, yeah, obviously I go for uh, walls, and then I go for towers, and uh, I do my stuff. And uh, I was very slow at, uh, to start with, actually. Uh, the AI was pretty better quite better till 30 35 minutes but after that i think uh, we went level on uh, on pop i think we both reached 200 pop in around 40 45 minutes and uh, it was very boring after that <laughs> this turtling is a crazy stupid strategy so don't do that yes i go for towers and uh, i do a stupid turtling with koreans and uh, so yes that is that that is the build order of the hardest ai 
and uh, nothing much has changed over the years with this uh, new DLC AI and, uh, with a new patch but uh, but this is what it is and uh, I'll do one more video with Barbarian and see what difference the Barbarian does compared to this hardest AI so that would be interesting and uh, they do he's doing fishing also <laughs> why not why not in feudal age and uh, no, I won't go to the castle age. That will be a bit boring. I think it goes to castle age after 100 pop in 24 minutes of game time. So that is a bit annoying. Look at the number of units he already has. He's got 30 on the map, 30 army, and uh, 72 pop. So yes, a bit annoying. He tries to enter my base. Obviously, he won't be able to do that. And I'm going to wall off my entire area till 35 minutes. And uh, finally, attack him with four wagons. So yes, that was the game and that was the build out of the AI. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video and uh, I would really, really appreciate if you can subscribe to the channel and uh, that is the only motivation for me to continue with my work. So yeah, that's all for now. Bye-bye.